Hey lovies, welcome to my channel, Craft Away with May. I'm May. Welcome to my oldie new subbies. I'm so glad to have you all here with me today as we participate in the Talented Creators open playlist. I will have more information about that as we get further along into the video. But first, we're going to go ahead and jump into this first project where you see I am working with this hexagon shadow box that I picked up from Hobby Lobby some time ago. And I was just on the fence with this one because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Um, I had a few ideas. Uh, and today was an opportunity where I came up with something absolutely gorgeous, guys. I'm going to just tell you right off the bat, I never ever really call my pro uh, projects high end, but this one, guys, it really delivered. I pat myself on the back for this one. I was really, really impressed with it. It's absolutely stunning. What you see that I did here was off camera. I did paint it in the color white and black um, using the paint by Waverly. As you see there, I gave it a little black trim. And of course, we're going to be decoupaging, guys. You know, that is just my my thing, my jam. I love it. You guys know I love it. For anyone who's been here any amount of time, I just love it. And it just takes anything that you do, in my opinion, to the next level. So I have this napkin here, guys, that I picked up from vippies.com. Um, I just started experimenting with them. And they do have a nice selection of napkins. Not that I need it anymore, but I wanted to give it a test run and see what their napkin quality was like, and they did not disappoint. So this one here, it was a cocktail napkin, and buoy to me, I only ordered one, so I had to stretch it out. So I did have to do a little bit of patchwork in here, but it's okay because of the pattern being so busy, it's um, not super noticeable because I did have to kind of overlap in some places. And it's still, you know, it worked out okay. And you guys are going to see how I um kind of camouflage that trim on the inside because I had a little doozy of a time <laughs> getting those little edges out because I really didn't have a lot of room to, you know, file it down, um, sand it down, so on and so forth. But um, we get a we got a workaround for that. Next up, I have this stripe napkin that I picked up, um, I think I got this from Target, I think, I don't know, but I think I got it from Target, guys, um, but I'm just going to do that on the outside of the box, and what I'm going to do is alternate the stripes. I thought that would be really cool, and I really did like the outcome of this, guys. When I tell you that this was like, okay, top-notch, May, I was like, HGTV, I'm coming for y'all. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice, though? Well, that would be so cool if they took some of our crafted supplies and showcased them on their shows. I would be like, okay, YouTube, I'm out. <laughs> Call me Georgia Weezy because I'm moving on up. Bye. <laughs> no. But seriously, though, it was just really, really pretty to me. And like I said, I, I just really don't ever consider my stuff high end. I, you know, I'm always pleased with it. Or other eyes, I wouldn't put it up. But this one, guys, this was really, really pretty. And I, uh, I just loved it. So I um, didn't alternate the pattern all the way around. I kept the stripes going, um horizontal on the sides and then the bottom one I didn't put anything on it just because it's gonna be glued to a base and I'm like you know what what's the purpose of doing that nobody's gonna see that so I didn't do that but um yeah I edited that out where I was trying to cut the paper out it tore it it was a whole situation happening there but like I said you know we got to work around for that and we're gonna do what we're gonna do to camouflage that or to blend it, should I say, is we're going to take some of this braided rope that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. It was originally, guys, $9.99 and I got it for $1.99 on clearance. So needless to say, and this was some time ago, I got this, it was some time ago and I just stashed. I picked up a whole stash of it, a lot. I did. I'm not shame. I should be, but I'm not. And so I'm just, I un, I unbraided it and then I'm just going on the inside of it. And I really, really, really like the way that brought it together. It just kind of gave it that same trim kind of on the inside and kind of gave it like a 3D look, if you will. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it really did. And I absolutely love it. So next I have this uh, rectangular shape uh, base 
wood piece that I don't know where I picked it up from. It could have been from anywhere. It could have been from anywhere. I don't know. But it was in my stash, so it made an awesome base. <laughs> I painted the color black. And then what you see I'm doing here is I'm taking some of these twinkle lights, fairy lights, whatever you want to call them, um, that I ordered off of Amazon. And they have a flat... Um, base to them they're not the chunky ones like we get at dollar tree and there's nothing wrong with those that's what you have access to it access to use them i have them i just prefer these because they're smaller and you can just really put them in anywhere so what i did was i took two of them and i glued them up to the top of this piece because i wanted to of course create a lighted piece of course you guys know you know i love my lights everything in lights <laughs> I love it. It just, to me, lights just really elevates a piece sometimes, um, especially during the uh, spring and summer months when you want outdoor decor or just that, you know, you're trying to keep your house cool. So you just want a little bit of lighting, not too much. That's why I like to use a lot of lighting, especially during this time. And then, of course, around Christmas time, everything lights up at Christmas time. But anyway. So I just tucked those up to the top. I just left them coiled up together, glued them up there. Then I found these beautiful pigs at Hobby Lobby, guys. They were only $1.99 or $1.49. I can't remember. They were not over two bucks, though. So I just went ahead um, and got those. And now what I'm going to do, and this, I was really bummed right here, guys. Now, I got this little vase, uh, glass vase from Dollar Tree. And I was trying to size this. And right when I did that, it popped the glass and it broke. So, yeah, I had to switch things up, but it was a good switch. Like, this was a good mistake, guys. So, I had another glass, but this one was a little bit darker, and I didn't like it because it didn't go well with the color of the flowers. But I had this little vase in my sash that I was like, I forgot about you, boo. Where you been? So, I took that one, put the flower in there, didn't use anything to hold it down. I didn't cut the flower down or anything. I just stuffed it in there. And there you have it. And I love the end result of that. So next I took this jumbo tower tumbling box that I got from Five Below. And it was going all good, guys. Until I started messing with it. I was trying to center it. And then it just... Y'all see it. Y'all see what happened. You see it? <laughs> But it still came out cute. That's all that matters. The end result was still cute. So I have this welcome sign um, or piece that I have from Hobby Lobby in my stash. Painting it white. And guys, I cannot wait for you to see it in the final reveal. This is hands down my favorite of today. Look at that. That looks so pretty. So yes, I am participating in the Talented Creators collaboration it is hosted by aria from diy with aria lolly d from i'm sorry lolly <laughs> from lolly d creations guest host is my girl jenny from lovely moments creating and and cheryl from farmhouse frugality next we're going to be going into our second project and we're going to continue on with some decoupaging now i do have some more napkins here i don't know where i got this napkin from guys i don't know I don't know. They were in my stash. And when I tell y'all I have buckets of napkins, it is crazy. I just did a napkin exchange with one of my sweet friends here on YouTube <laughs> because there is so many in my arsenal. I don't need them. Y'all, I love them. But ooh, we got to figure out how to get rid of them. Maybe we'll do some napkin bundles or something. And I don't know. I'm not into selling, but, you know, maybe I'll sell them or something if somebody's interested. Who knows? We'll We'll see. Anyway, so I had another one of these little baseboards there, and then I had some scrap wood pieces, and um, I did the whole decoupage technique. And just to let you guys know, as you saw there, I used Mod Podge to do my decoupaging to, that's my medium that I use to adhere to my pieces. I often will use a sponge to smooth them out. Um, in this case, I did have a few extra wrinkles that I didn't want on this um, um, this particular piece so I did pull out my mini press just to smooth things out a bit and what you see I'm doing here is I am creating a box form so guys what we're making today with this one is a mail holder or it could be even it could be like a flower box but I wanted to make it 
in the style of a drawer. So I thought that would be super cute. So that's what I'm doing here. And of course I told myself, May, make sure you line up those lines correctly. And what didn't May do? Y'all know what I did. It was a lot of foupas today, okay? So I did, I think on each project, I did something I absolutely was not supposed to do. And it went left. And it's all because in my mind, I'm like, I don't need to measure. I don't need to do this. I can eyeball everything. And we always know what that end result is. But you know, the Chanel Mannequins are forever coming. They will forever reign in my world. And welcome to my world, lovies. This is where the shenanigans happen. All right. So anyway, so once we get that all fixed, because everything is fixable and crafting. Hello, somebody. We went ahead and painted the trim of that in the white color paint by Waverly. Now we're taking some wood glue. And we are putting that along the edges with some hot glue. And... We are going to adhere that front piece to this, guys. This came out so darling and so cute. I really, really love it. Now, I am using that super wood glue from Dollar Tree. Um, had that in my stash for a while, too. So, I figured why not use it? And there you have it. Now, wouldn't you know it? I did not line it up, guys. I didn't measure it out. I've just plopped it on there. And what happened? It all went to the left. So I tried to pull it apart, but as y'all can see, that glue was working. It was working over time, okay? I had to pay it a couple extra dollars to come loose. So, but y'all will see that in a few minutes. So next, I'm taking crafting sticks. I'm cutting them down to size because this is going to be the base for our mailbox and I only used four of them and I left a little space in them. I just thought that was just kind of cute. Now, if you re were to recreate something like this, you could definitely put it together, make it your own, do it your way. But do you guys see how it's leaning to the left? Y'all see it? To the left, to the left, to the left. <laughs> oh, B called it. She called it. But there we go. We fixed it because everything is fixable, right? Now, these boards were not created equal, so they were still kind of leaning, but it's okay. Now, here's the second part of my shenanigans for this project. I put that right in the middle, but when I went ahead and put the glue on it, it went to the left again, guys, because something about the left is just all in my brain. But... It's okay. I couldn't fix this one because if I pulled it off, I would have pulled the napkin off. It would have been a whole, re, you know, a do-over. And I didn't feel like doing that. So y'all going to get this little lefty-lefty and we're going to roll with it, okay? So now we're taking some wood applicates that I had in my stash. I ordered them off Amazon. And to give this more of a drawer feel... I am just going to paint them in this color. I forget the color of this blue. It's by Folk Art. Um, I cannot think of it off the, the top of my head. But it's like an oceany color blue. And I know that's not the name of it. But that's what I see. Oceany blue. So that's what we're going to call it. And I'm just adding these to the corner. Like I said to make it look more like a drawer. I really 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 love this. I think it's so sweet and so darling. And it's so cute. And it's something I've been wanting to do for a while. I really like the idea of a drawer mailbox. Now, can somebody pay that bill? <laughs> Don't worry about it. The bills are paid. They're always paid. <laughs> okay. So next, same thing here. I did a little magic, a little baseboard, a little decoupage, and there it is. And this napkin just says, live the life you love. I can't stress that enough, guys. Live the life you love. Don't live the life of someone else. Live your life with purpose because that is why we are here. So what I'm doing is I am taking some jute twine and just outlining this piece because it is giving me nautical vibes, of course, with the seashell. I mean, the starfish there. Then I have these little nautical wheels in my sash as well. I thought that would be a super cute addition here and it didn't disappoint. I kept it in its natural state i am gonna bring in some more jute twine and i'm gonna um, add in another one of the little nautical wheels here and i'm just gonna kind of create a loop or with like a little noose or around the little thingy there but um yeah i'm just gonna wrap that off and then i'm gonna I don't know. You guys have to see it. It's kind of self-explanatory. Well, it's all self-explanatory. It always is. <laughs> but I'm just going to, um, once I wrap that off, I'm going to use the nautical wheel to be like the back part for the hanger piece, if you will. <laughs> I don't know, but it also can act as a leaner. You guys will see what I mean in a minute. I don't know. My mind, I could have just left it here, 
but I just felt like it needed something hanging over towards that star. I don't know why. It just, that's when my brain says to do something. Sometimes I try to fight it, guys, but it just wins. And my hands just follow suit and I just go with whatever it comes up with. So what I did was, like I said, I took the nautical wheel, I glued it to the back, and then I hung the string over, I mean the jute rope over it. I don't know. I really like that. I thought that was super cute. I don't know why, but I did. I really did. <laughs> and guys, don't forget to check out the playlist. I will have everybody's links in my channel, the host, the co-host, along with the awesome playlist, guys. Stop by their channels. Tell them I said hello. If you happen to stop by here first, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I hope you consider joining my little YouTube family. I would love to have you here. We are on the road to growing this channel to 5,000. And with that, usually when I hit a milestone, especially one that big, I am going to do something very special. But I do like to do giveaways. And I will say that with that 5,000, when we get there, we are going to do a very nice giveaway and it will only be to my subscribers in the past I have left my uh, giveaways open to people who wasn't subscribers either but this time it is going to strictly be for my subscribers and it's going to be something awesome guys I am thinking about getting um, a mini press and um, it's going to be the Cricut mini press and also probably some scorch paste for whoever that lucky person is so Share this video, guys. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe. I would appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But let me go ahead and tell you guys about this final project of today. So with this, with our challenge today, we had to create at least one wreath. Your girl is not a wreath maker, okay? So I had to fake the funk. And so what I did was I got one of these wooden wreath forms from Hobby Lobby. I took some of these little uh, greenery picks and I separated them as you saw there. Then I have this floral pick. <laughs> I'm going to create a little bit of a swag with it. I added in that little beaded. Um, they're like mini wreaths that you get from Dollar Tree. They have them all year round. At least I've seen them all year round. Added there there. And so then next I'm going to um, just tie this swag off. And I'm going to add that into the wreath. So I wanted to give the illusion. <laughs> Of a full wreath, okay? A full greeny, greeny, <laughs> plush, uh, plush, y'all know what I'm trying to say? A plush greenery style wreath, right? So I wanted to, again, fake the funk. As I said, I'm not ashamed to admit that, okay? I am okay with admitting that I don't know how to do a wreath. Like, I don't know how to work with the grapevine wreaths. I don't know how to do all that stuff. But, but, I do know how to fake it until I make it. With my fake reefs, okay? So there, you have it. It looks realistic. It looks like it's, you know, give me some props, y'all. It looks, it looks okay. <laughs> it looks like a reef, right? Yes, it does. Okay. That's all that matters here. What it looks like. What the end result comes out to be. So I put the little swag there. And I think I did too much. I wanted to add some color here, but I think I did too much. But you guys can let me know. Y'all know my feelings don't get hurt. We, we can be completely honest as long as we're tactful. We can be as honest as we need to be on this channel because that's what helped me grow. But a lot of times I already know. I already know when I made some, you know, some mishaps. And I'm okay with that. I accept it. It's all good. I know what I do <laughs> and what I don't do. I know that. And I want to apologize, guys, for the background noise i'm sorry about it um for you guys who've been here sometimes you guys know i i see nate close to a main highway so the traffic is non-stop so if you can hear any background noise i apologize please forgive me and please don't run away it doesn't always happen but it happens for the most part okay so next i had this cute little bird that i had picked up from hobby lobby last year and i was like oh that would be cute right there i was gonna use a little toucan but it just wasn't working it was not giving me the vibes i was wanting and i stuffed that one in there this bird then i'm tying it off with a hanger in the background and we will be heading into the final reveal right now guys so so yes, let me know if you have a favorite of today. Here is our <laughs> fake it till you make it wreath, guys. <laughs> it's not that bad. 
<laughs> I mean, come on. Give me a little grace. <laughs> I tried. Right? I tried. Give me an A for effort. <laughs> and here is our little mailbox. Although I wanted to show you guys an alternative where you can just put flowers in it if you want. You can use it as a trinket box if you want. The options are endless. I just love the style of it. You can choose any napkin, any tissue paper, any cardstock to make this your own, guys. I hope you feel inspired. I love it. That would probably be my number two piece. Now, here is our Live the Life You Love piece. I absolutely adore this, especially if you're into nautical themed decor. I think this would be a great addition to your home anywhere where you can leave it up all year round. Also, guys, here is our favorite, my favorite. Oh, I love this, guys. I don't care if anybody else loves it or not. I love this piece. I think it's stunning. I think it's so pretty and gorgeous i just love it i love it i love it lit up i just love everything about this piece so guys let me know if you have a favorite you don't have to let me know but you know i love to hear from you you guys absolutely know i love to hear from you guys and if you haven't already done so lovies please consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting just note those comments are always desired never are they required because i absolutely love to chat with you guys after each and every video you guys make my heart smile over and over again and loveys if you haven't done so please check out my previous video i did a couple days ago it would help me out so much and i would be so grateful just a few minutes out of your day if you have it to spare i would greatly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart i will also have it for you guys in the end of this video don't forget to check out the host and co-host of this playlist i will have their information in my description box below tell them i said hello and until the next video loveys be safe be kind and happy crafting your days away xoxo bye